going on guys it is September 19th and here is the Baja Honda hatchback uh, no updates have been done lately um, so just a quick run through what happened okay as you can see it is now army green it is also rocking the bent GT3s off the Corolla uh, it was rocking 15 inch steelies with some really tall tires, but I got them off David and he got these pretty kick-ass Rota GT3s because they are 15s and we can get some killer huge mud tires to put on 15 inch wheels. And with this much clearance, we're going to try to do that. And then I'm going to try to find, there's a company online that makes uh, suspension lifts for any type of car. You give them the measurements from your strut tower and they make an aluminum uh, spacer to go in there and if I can get them to make make, make a set for less than 100 150 200 dollars It could go up another two inches which It already has pretty good clearance. It doesn't look like it But believe it or not this little thing will go over some stuff the back hatch is removed all the back interior is removed the windows gone the weather stripping gone the roof rack is off and She's pretty gutted Would you like to know why? Okay? plywood aluminum reinforcements a drop cord and a sawzall <sighs> we're turning it into a truck so as if it wasn't baja honda hatchback enough it's now gonna be a elka civic uh i couldn't think of a better name so elka civic maybe civic amino i don't know honda amino something Y'all figure out a name and we'll name it. So far, it's just going to be the Honda Truckster. Uh, but we're going to notch the roof right here at the edge of the seam. All the way across. Cut it out flat here. Uh, relocate the third brake light to the back of the cab. And then build a, a flat layout plywood bed, some rider liner, make it look all pretty. And bam, she will be a freaking truck. Uh, and on some other things that we have done, it's got fenders that David cut at a right angle. So I'm going to go back and fix those. But, right angle is the right way. <laughs> I, this isn't a brand new Silverado. We don't need squares. So we'll probably cut them. And then I'm going to try to talk him into putting fender flares on it. I think that would look pretty dope front end is still or bumper and cover are gone the brakes are still on there we got a little ghetto tow hook that's got a nut on the end of it so it's not actually coming off even though it looks like it is that's off the of bmw uh, we put a siren on it because you got to have a siren uh radiator support is bent all to pieces it's perfect uh you got wires hanging for bullshit that doesn't exist anymore it's it's perfect you know, tow hooks are still in the front each corner. Turn signals are in with orange lenses, so that makes it uh, legal for us. Um, corner lights are still in. That's legal. Uh, David broke the ignition switch, so here is the massive how to crank it. You got a screwdriver jam in the plastic piece and a bunch of wires and relays and stuff hanging. We're going to get that all fixed up. I don't know if he's going to put an ignition in it or if we're just going to go straight badass and toggle switch it. Uh, I think it'd be pretty cool to flip a bunch of toggle switches and hit a button. But I don't know. We'll figure something out. David's removing something for whatever reason. Why don't you do that? Why don't you get the headliner out first? Oh, yeah. That'll work better. You know, the seat belts aren't exactly in the way. Let me get the plastic pieces out of the way. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we're gonna cut the bitch. So, yep. Should be a truck before no time. Just notch it there and there. Build this little wall. Epic truck status. Alright, so stop this video here. We'll pick up in a little bit. And we're cutting.
Grab your beer. That's cut. This side's cut. He's starting his cut right there. He's gonna walk it all the way across, and then we're taking this roof off. Beautiful, beautiful. Hello, guys. Here it is. Roof is off. There it is. So I changed my shirt. Much cleaner shirt. And now we're on our way to Lowe's to get some plywood, some screws, and some other good stuff to uh, build the wall. And then I'm going to start sealing up cracks. Got to go cut a sheet of plexiglass for the rear window. Seal it all up and bam, the rough start is done. And then we're going to do some final touches and finishes. I'm going to build a layover top bed. We'll figure something out. But I just wanted to let y'all know the roof is off. We'll get a back shot of it. Hell yeah. All right, guys. All right, guys. This video is a little dark. We're uh, thanking our new LED street light that uh, Duke Power put in for us. Uh, this is all we've gotten done today. We're pretty much about to give up now. Not like give up, give up. But this is where we're going to stop for the night. You can see it's braced up the plywood we got cut, and the Lowe's got plywood. I used that metal, or the aluminum framing to cut the board in. And all this stuff down here is called Great Stuff Expanding Foam. And I'm using that. We're letting it dry right now, and that's going to fill in all the cracks. And I'm going to go back with a razor blade and trim it up so it looks pretty. And uh, then we're going to get some black house paint outdoor exterior paint and paint it all black so it's uh coated and it won't rot uh, as quickly um you know we'll probably end up having to do this again you know in five ten years it'll rot out but you know, i think it'll be okay for a while it's just you know something to do right now focus camera we reuse the weather stripping from the side glass to go down the edge so it's not sharp you won't cut yourself on it and uh, on the inside you might not be able to see much right now yeah and, uh, but that's going to be the only hole that'll be uh, where I'm going to put the Lexan window uh, right there and it's just going to be a solid window it's not going to open we're just going to screw it in uh, yep that's what we have accomplished today so stay tuned guys we're gonna do some more cool stuff with this old car truck thing uh, I'll probably edit in another video at the end of this one for tomorrow what we get done then so day one is ended